Did you catch the recent interview with Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz on CBS's 60 Minutes? If not, let's get you up to speed. This pivotal conversation touched on a wide variety of pressing topics, from the state of the economy to the complexities of immigration, from the nuances of foreign affairs to the anticipation of the upcoming election. Vice President Harris and Governor Waltz gave us a glimpse into their thoughts, plans, and perspectives. In this video, we will delve into the highlights of this interesting conversation. Kamala Harris, the Vice President, had some compelling points to make about the economy and tax reforms. She ardently defended the Biden administration's economic record, highlighting the progress made in the face of global adversities. She emphasized on the resilience and adaptability of the American economy, praising the strides made in job creation and stability in the face of uncertainty, but it didn't stop there. Harris went on to discuss her proposed tax reforms. She sees these as a key element in funding the administration's plans. Her vision? A balanced system where the wealthy pay their fair share, which in turn provides a much-needed boost to public services and infrastructure. Harris believes these reforms are not just about fairness, but about investing back into the American people and strengthening the country from within. She also pointed out the importance of these reforms in tackling the wealth gap, a critical issue that has been magnified in the wake of the pandemic. By ensuring that the rich contribute proportionately, Harris aims to address this disparity and create a more equitable society. Harris has clearly outlined her vision for the economy, but what about the hot-button issue of immigration? Immigration has long been a contentious issue in American politics. What does Harris have to say about it? Vice President Kamala Harris, in a recent interview, held her ground when faced with questions about her record on immigration. She stated that she stands by the decisions made and the actions taken during her time in office. Harris also made a compelling call for congressional action to address border security. She emphasized the need for strategic, comprehensive and compassionate policies to address the complexities of immigration. She believes in the importance of ensuring border security while also upholding the values and principles that define the United States as a nation of immigrants. Harris's approach to immigration is clear. It's not about choosing between security and compassion. It's about integrating these two essential components to create a holistic immigration strategy. She aims to strike a balance that respects the rights of individuals seeking refuge or better opportunities while maintaining the integrity of national borders. While Harris tackled these issues head on, Governor Tim Waltz also had to face some tough questions. Tim Waltz, relatively new to the national stage, didn't escape the probing questions. What were the main points of contention? Well, the governor found himself under scrutiny for his military record and past travels. With a career spanning over two decades in the National Guard, his service was brought to the forefront. Questions arose about his deployment history and the nature of his roles during his service. In a climate where military service carries significant weight, these inquiries could prove pivotal in shaping public perception. But that wasn't the end of it. Waltz's past travels also came under the scanner. His trips, both domestic and international, were reviewed with a fine-tooth comb. The purpose, the timing, and the financing of these trips were all points of discussion, raising questions about transparency and accountability. So, how did Waltz handle these questions? With a firm resolve, he addressed each issue head-on. He provided clarifications where needed and defended his record when necessary. Despite the pressure, he maintained his composure and remained steadfast in his responses. Now, what does this mean for his political future? It's a testing ground, to say the least. Waltz's ability to handle the scrutiny is indicative of his potential resilience in the political arena. His responses to these difficult questions could either strengthen his position or raise further doubts among the electorate. Both Harris and Waltz had their moments under the spotlight, providing us with some insightful perspectives on their plans and policies. It's clear that this interview with Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz was loaded with significant points. The vice president's focus on economic recovery and tax reforms reflects the pressing need for financial stability in the country. Her defense of the Biden administration's economic record and proposition of tax reforms to fund her plans underscore the current administration's push for economic resilience. Harris's stance on immigration, her call for congressional action on border security, mirrors the ongoing debate on immigration reform and the urgency of addressing border security issues. Meanwhile, Governor Tim Waltz's military record and past travels drew attention, signaling the scrutiny that newcomers to the national stage often face. 
These discussions provide a snapshot of the current political climate, with economic recovery, immigration and personal credibility being key issues. They also hint at what we might expect in the upcoming elections, with these topics likely to continue dominating the political discourse. Stay tuned for more updates on the political landscape as we approach the elections. Until then, keep the conversation going.